addition and subtraction. Hello, by the end of this course you will be able to add and subtract. Adding or addition is just adding to or making more. Subtracting or subtraction is just taking away or making less of something. Completing this lesson is fun and easy. We will review how adding and subtracting works. Hello, my name is Annie. I am six years old and this is my best friend Jose. Jose and I play together almost every day. We both like to grow a garden. Jose and I are going to plant a garden and we want you to help us. I want to grow carrots in our garden, so we had to get some carrot seeds to plant. Bunny? Jose, how many carrot plants do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We now have ten carrot plants. We planted 10 carrot seeds and we now have 10 carrot plants. Yay! Let's count our lettuce plants also. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six lettuce plants. Jose, how many lettuce plants did we have the last time we visited the garden? We had all ten lettuce plants. Jose, how many are we missing? We started with ten lettuce plants, and now we have six lettuce plants. Let's do the math. Ten lettuce plants minus lettuce plants equals six lettuce plants. Ten minus four equals six. Great job! Ten lettuce plants minus four lettuce plants equals six lettuce plants. The answer is four. I think Bunny ate four lettuce plants. Bunny sure looks happy and fat. Oh well, we still have six lettuce plants growing. Let's water our garden so our plants can drink. Hello, Bunny. Jose, let's count our carrots today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We now have seven carrots. We had ten carrots the last time we were in the garden. How many carrot plants are missing? Let's do the math. 10 carrot plants minus carrot plants equals 7 carrot plants.
10 minus 3 equals 7. Great math! Ten carrot plants minus three carrot plants equals seven carrot plants. The answer is three. I bet Bunny ate the three missing carrots. Bunny sure looks happy. Let's count our lettuce plants. One, two, three. We only have three lettuce plants left. How many lettuce plants did we have the last time we checked our garden? We had six lettuce plants. How many lettuce plants do you think the bunny ate since then? Let's do the math. We started out with six lettuce plants, and now we have only three lettuce plants left. Hmm... Let's do the math. Six lettuce plants minus lettuce plants equals three lettuce plants. Six minus three equals three. You are right. Great job. Six lettuce plants minus three lettuce plants equals three lettuce plants. You are right. Great job. The answer is three. Let's count our carrot plants. Annie, do you remember how many carrot plants we had the last time we checked our garden? Yes, we had seven carrot plants left. Well, let's count our carrots today. One, two, three, four. We only have four carrot plants left. Oh, my goodness! I think we have a very hungry bunny. How many more carrots did he eat? Let's do the math. If we started out with seven carrots, and now we have only four left, how many carrots are missing? Seven carrot plants minus carrot plants equals four carrot plants. Seven minus three equals four. Great job! Seven carrot plants minus three carrot plants equals four carrot plants. The answer is three. How many carrots has Bunny eaten? Well, he first ate three carrots, and now he has eaten three more. So let's do the math. Three carrot plants plus three carrot plants equals carrot plants. Three plus three equals six. Great job! Three carrot plants plus three carrot plants equals six carrot plants. Six is the correct answer. That bunny has eaten six of our ten carrots. He must be a very hungry bunny. How many lettuce plants has the bunny eaten? Well, he first ate four, and then he ate three more lettuce plants. So let's do the math. Four lettuce plants plus three lettuce plants equals lettuce plants.
Wow, you are so smart. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Four lettuce plants plus three lettuce plants equals seven lettuce plants. Bunny has eaten seven lettuce plants and six carrots. Wow, Bunny sure is hungry. How can one bunny be so hungry? Thank you, Annie and Jose, for feeding my babies. You are all great at math and gardening. Let's watch the tutorial again. When the minute hand is in the second half of the clock, we say two the next hour. So this becomes 20 minutes to two, because there are 20 minutes until it is two o'clock. For counting to the next hour, we need to count anti-clockwise. This means starting at the 12 and counting backwards. Let's count together. 5, 10, 15, 20, that's it. 20 minutes to 2. Show me 10 minutes to 7. Not 10 to 7. Try again. Show me twenty to three. Hmm. Let's check if you've got it. Show me twenty to five. You can do it! Beautiful! Go to ten to eight. Brilliant! Ready to try by yourself? Go to five to ten. 